Hi guys, today is a Sunday, July the 22nd, um, so I hope y'all's weekend has been alright, um, you know, I guess I'm doing okay myself, guys, and, you know, just, just stay strong and keep focused on the Lord day in, day out, and at, I mean, at this point, realize, you know, our redemption truly draw off nigh. And I suspect we are we are probably getting pretty close to seeing things, you know, go down, spiral out of control, you know, go down. And then, you know, so our redemption draw off nigh, guys. And so just keep following the Lord and try your best to take it a day at a time. And I did have, um, I, I really want to let y'all know about one dream I had last night. I'll probably mention the other one, even though I believe it's more personal. But definitely the one I really want to mention, guys, I, I think... I think this has to do with the, I don't know, maybe we could be seeing the Psalm 83 war getting ready to break out, possibly, I don't know, but I want to go into the dream, and so it was like, almost like I was like, the best way I could describe it, I don't know if I was, um like I was being presented this, on, like imagine like watching a screen, um, it was almost like, I guess I could say, almost like playing a video game, even though, I mean, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't play video games. I haven't played those in a long time. You know, I got out of those years ago, years ago, video games and all that. But that's the best way I could describe it, Vi video, playing like a video game, maybe, from what I was being presented. And it was like a, um, there was a school bus, like a big yellow, you know, like a yellow school bus, orange, yellow, whatever. And, um, and like, I knew the bus was like, heading home, you know, like, essentially heading home, like, it was at some destination, but it had to get home, you know, it had to get home, and it almost felt like, I don't know if I was controlling it, it was weird, like, because my point of view was, like, from outside the bus, but it almost seemed like, I don't know if I was in the bus controlling it, but essentially the, it's like the bus had to get home, the school bus, and so it was like, it was, it would go on the highway, and then it would get off, you know, get off the highway, get back on, like, it, it I was like, I knew the school bus had, was finding its way home, and, and then I remember, like, I knew the next exit, like, I saw, it was like an exit sign, or like, I knew the ex, next exit, it said Psalm, and I want to say Psalm 83, um, it was a two-digit number, and the second digit was three, so I know the second digit was three, I I'm I'm believe it was Psalm 83 because when I had woken up from the dream, I, 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 on my mind was Psalm either Psalm 63 or Psalm 93. But then when I then I quickly realized I'm like, well, the six and the nine, you know, resemble the eight. You know, if you combine those two and overimpose them one on top of another, that that gives you your essentially like a, a eight. So, and, and it came on my mind, I'm like, oh, isn't that the Psalm 83? Well, I'm like, and so I, guys, I think it was Psalm 83 it was like on, on the exit sign. Like it was like the next, you know, the exit we had to take, you know, on our way to get home. And that's, a, and so, so that's where, like, I knew we were looking for the school bus was looking for like that exit, which said Psalm 83. And, and, um, at a certain point, it's like the bus had, I think the bus got in like a wreck or something, like a bad wreck. Like I saw the school bus now, it was all mangled. It, I think it still could be driven, but it was mangled and there was like metal, like ripped up sides and everything where now it was like sharp ripped up sides, you know, the school bus and everything like, and, um, and it had come to a stop on the highway at a certain point. And then I noticed the, um, it's like all of a sudden a school bus, a huge mob of people surrounded it. So a very large mob group of people. And, um, and it was weird that this is where the dream, it, it got a little graphic. Like I think the school bus started moving or maybe doing donuts or doing something in the metal, the sides, you know, the sharp sides of the school bus where it had been mangled in this, whatever wreck or damage it had gotten. It was like, like ripping up the people that that were like mob you know a mob of people that had surrounded the school bus this bus just started like ripping them up and it was got pretty gruesome kind of bloody uh you know pretty gory a little bloody and then that's where the dream ended i awoke and and i, I believe honestly so i i think it was psalm 83 that was on the exit sign like the exit the bus needed to take 
And so, guys, Psalm 83, that's your, you know, the Psalm 83 war that will be between, you know, Israel and its surrounding Arab neighbors, you know, the Psalm 83 war. <clears throat> and so I'm, I believe that that could indicate potentially us leaving around the time, you know, the, the you know, is conflict between Israel and its Arab neighbors breaks out. You know, that's something I've had my eye on, keeping my eye open for, you know, conflict breaking out and, um, you know, potential conflict breaking out at around the time we leave between Israel and its its neighbors and and also, you know, with Russia, Turkey and so forth. But so the exit sign, Psalm maybe three, I would I would that that would indicate, you know, we need to keep our eyes open for that possibly stuff go, that going down around the time we leave. The school bus, I believe, it could be related to the whole school bus, the rapture school bus. But honestly, the first, honestly, guys, the first thing that came to my mind, I was like, I need to check when school, you know, K through 12 schools start in my, you know, where I live, you know, my area. In K through 12, the schools, it looks like they start in August. So when I looked it up, the schools around me, K through 12, it looks like they begin in August. Like the district I used to go to was, I think, August 11th. Then like a major one, other major one was August 21st. So it looks around mid-August, a lot of them in my area are starting up. So that's when the school buses start rolling again, the school buses. As I took it as a potential, the, the school bus in a dream could be a time indicator of when maybe we could see stuff go down. So maybe we should have our eyes open in August. And the fact the school bus was mangled in a wreck, I believe that that represents, you know, you know, conflict of violence, uh, damage, danger. And then the, the horde of people surrounding it, once again, conflict, danger. Um, they had surrounded the school bus, and then, then the school bus started, like, moving and doing stuff and essentially really hurting the people that had surrounded it, ripping them up, and there was blood. It was pretty gory. And then the dream ended there. So we should definitely keep our eyes open. Maybe we're about to see the Psalm 83 war break out. And there was another dream I wanted to mention... <laughs> I, I can only remember a few details, but essentially what was important was, um, or no, pretty much, yeah, yeah, what, what it was, it was weird, my English teacher from the 11th grade was in it again, and I had her not that long ago in that one dream, where I was in the classroom, final exam, and then I was talking to, to the, uh, the girl to my left, and, and then we, um, and then, yeah, and then the, the English teacher, she came up, and she was like, I, I, um, I love how you ninth graders bookmark everything. You know, I love how you ninth graders bookmark everything. She saw I'd bookmarked it. And then the day after, I had those two nine, uh, nine fluid ounce cups, um, one inside another one, in our mailbox. When I pulled the mail out, they, they, they fell out of the mailbox. And I believe that may be more personal stuff. But I believe this dream may be in connection to that. I'll go ahead and mention it. But it is interesting. But in the the it was like from the details I remember this English teacher again. And so her first name has the word sky, S K Y, sky in it. Her middle name means rising sun. So rise, the, you know, the sun rising, rising sun in the morning. Um, and it's like I ran into her in like a store, and then we were talking, and I was telling her about the word pitcher, and I remember spelling it out: pitcher, P I T C H E R, pitcher. P-I-T-C-H-E-R. I, and I remember spelling it out to her, and I think I was telling her, you know, that the stuff that holds water, liquid, stuff like that. And there was something important about it. And then I, I remember, um, maybe was I telling her about some previous dreams or something? And that's really all I remember from the dream. But it's interesting, when I looked it up, it has to do with most of the occurrences of that word in the Bibles is when the um, when Abraham sent his uh, servant to go... Um, find a, a wife for Isaac and the servant you know ran into Rebecca at the, the at the um you know at the um the well of water and so that's where most of the verses come from so like Genesis chapter 20 verse 14 and let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say let down thy pitcher I pray thee that I may drink and she shall say drink and I will give thy camels drink also let the same be she that thou hast pointed for thy servant Isaac and thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. So, and then that's when, you know, Rebecca came to the well. 
and then when she did that that's all the servant knew you know she was the one and so that's it's very interesting that's where most of these um verses or where the word pitcher p-i-t-c-h-e-r shows up in the bible you know this is king james version i'm looking at um and then there's like it also shows up once in ecclesiastes and then once in the um twice in the new testament but i believe the lord's more pointing to the you know in genesis about the servant you know going to find a you know wife for um isaac and you know it, was, it turned out to be rebecca she was the one but um it's pretty interesting because in that you know it was the same English teacher and I was spelling her out this word and telling her about it and so she was the same one that was in that previous dream that I had you know just brought up again and um and then yeah those two nine ounce cups in the mailbox you you know you put liquids in a cup you know in a pitcher it holds liquids like water or whatever and um but I believe this may be more personal but I did want to put that out there but I, th I think that has to tie into more personal stuff which I'm not going to be discussing in this video but guys definitely keep your eyes open um maybe we're about to see psalm 83 war break out <clears throat> just keep your eyes open definitely middle east israel that region is you know high watch that's something i've always you know recently been feeling you know to keep an eye out for us stuff going down there possibly around the time we leave so just keep your trust and faith in Jesus Christ. Keep following the Lord day in, day out. And um, realize it's a spiritual battle. It's a full-on spiritual battle. It may, you know, it's not, this isn't physical. There's a false impression that, you know, this is physical. But deep down, it's, it's truly spiritual. And we're, we're dealing with, you know, spiritual darkness and wickedness in high places. And always be on high alert and constant watch. You know, the enemy is going to try to trip us up any way possible. And, um, you know, I hope to see y'all soon. I know we're getting close. We're getting really close. So keep trying y'all's best, and I'll catch y'all later. Um, God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.